I'm going to give you a quick introduction to using StatCrunch for this assignment. So on my Stat Lab, you'll see an um, option that says StatCrunch. You want to click that. And for the most part, we're going to use the StatCrunch website. So go ahead and click that. And then for this assignment and for a lot of other assignments, we're going to use the Math 105 survey data. So to get there, we go to Explore and then Data. And then we just want to do a search for Math 105. And what will come up will be a link that says Math 105 Data. And that's how you open the data. You just want to click that link. And you should see the data set appear. Now, if you don't see the data set appear, if this is just blank, uh, one thing to do is to get Java. So you want to use this link down here and download Java on your computer. The other option is to uh, open in new StatCrunch. That used to say open um, in the mobile version, but now it says open in new StatCrunch and you don't need any uh, Java download. So if it's not working for you, try open a new StatCrunch. And then you'll get the data in new StatCrunch. And this works the same way. There's slight differences, but the instructions should be fine. The instructions for StatCrunch are at the end of your um, course packet, so you want to refer to those. And you're going to want to do things like calculate the mean or calculate the standard deviation. Um, so uh, to do that, we'll just do the first example where you're going to have to calculate um, uh, for one of them. Uh, let's just do summary statistics for intelligence, let's say. So you would go to stat, summary stat uh, columns. And I would put intelligence into the box right here. And I can just click calculate. And this box comes up with uh, the mean, intelligence, the variance, standard deviation, median, range, mid, max, quartile 1 and quartile 3. If I wanted to compare the intelligence between females and males, I can do that. Remember, this was the question on the survey that asked, uh, how intelligent, how would you rank your intelligence on a scale of 1 to 10? And so if I want to compare gender, I would do the group by down here and I would put gender in for the group by and then I can just hit calculate. And now I have separate, separate summary statistics for females and males. You might have to also do a graph. So if you want to do a graph in StatCrunch, you would go here. Um, histogram, we can do a box plot. We'll just do a histogram. And I can put um, study. This is the number of hours a week students study. And there's the histogram for that variable. We can see it's skewed to the right. OK, so this should get you started. Uh, there's instructions in the course packet on how to use StatCrunch or you can attend a help session in Holt 155 if you're having trouble.